Hello, my soccer universe. Oh, I'm doing it this morning because it got very late yesterday and I didn't want to do a video. And I keep this short because we want to leave soon. I won't see too many games today. I will probably miss, most likely miss uh, Chelsea and Manchester United. But so be it. I hope I can watch uh, Milan Torino at Torino. And I am very, 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 very nervous about that one. Uh, because Roma won 3-0. Uh, against Cagliari at home, as expected, so this is a must-win for Milan. Also because Atalanta is playing Udine. Um, let's quickly stay in Italy. I, the first thing I saw yesterday were the last 10 minutes of Bologna against Empoli, where Bologna actually got the lead 2-1. Empoli was ahead at a halftime. Um, they took the lead and they got uh, the 3-1. Um, actually quite nicely taken goals, and this probably means that uh, Bologna is through. I'm not gonna bore you more with that. You already see I'm wearing Barcelona, but why the scarf up there? If you have not watched it, watch the French Cup final. This was the last thing that, that, that I watched. I was falling only on the side of the screen at, at, the, at the beginning. My evening was more or less first uh, on the computer. I had Inter Juve. I had on my phone next to it, I had uh, Barca against Levante because I knew Barca can become champions. I wanted to see that. And once uh, Inter Juve was done, I f flipped over to the French Cup final in the second half and I actually rewatched the goals because um, it was 2 1 at PSG at the time. Quickly rewatched the first goal, corner by Neymar, volleyed in by Dani Alves. Absolutely gorgeous goal. The second one, equally, Neymar gets a great pass, I think, from Di Maria, if I'm not uh, completely mistaken. Lobs it over the goalkeeper 2 0 after 22 minutes. Everything's done. By the way, horrible, horrible jerseys. I mean, uh, Rennes played in their home jerseys and PSG in their cream colored away jerseys. But the sponsor seemed so completely off. I mean, a huge sponsor on the PSG shirt uh, in all types of types. It cheapened the look of this final considerably. Uh, Rennes got hit the post through Niang uh, in the first half and the shuttle thereafter equalized through an own goal by Kim Pembe. Game on. And I got in there when Ren actually was pressing for an equalizer. It was really so funny because I was Barcelona, uh, cup final, Barcelona, Barcelona, cup final, Barcelona, cup final. Uh, and I just looked over, corner, corner kick, Ren and Messi, uh, Messi, I think Messi, I would say, but Messi, Messi, uh, makes it 2-2. And then there is what's coming after is an onslaught by PSG, an absolute onslaught. I think at one point uh, they were skipping past the ball, couldn't uh, convert. And, you know, there's Neymar, there's Mbappé out there. Uh, it's an absolute all-star ensemble and they cannot get the ball in the internet. And... Um, Ren, uh, goalkeeper Kubik, is really defending gallantly. Second, uh, it goes to overtime. The first half of overtime, more of the same. I think even Pape hitting the post and they cannot get uh, the look in. Second overtime, actually the other way around. Ren is pushing for the uh, go-ahead goal but cannot get there. And then it gets ugly. There was a foul on Neymar, which, yeah, uh, he got hit on the uh, foot here. But the way he's rolling, I think he left twice the ground while rotating. I, that display, I, I the attack was bad, at worthy of a card. But the showboating afterwards, it's just Neymar. No one takes it seriously anymore. But this actually made the game uh, really intense. And just a few minutes later, Mbappé makes a horrible tackle. Seemingly out of... he, he, he went there, But there's no ball in it there. Goes in there and hits the defender right below the knee with outstretched. And I truly believe he wanted to go for the ball. And it was so over with adrenaline that he is not uh, getting a hold of himself. But it was a horrible challenge and worthy of a red card. And you could see he, he was totally... What? A red card? For that? Goes to penalties. And I love penalty shooters, even if Lusk is not doing well at them, at least when I'm in, in, in the stadium. And what a penalty shooter was, PSG chose to go second, which I found curious. Um, and Ren 
converts every single one of them. The every and the goalkeepers were hardly ever there. I think the closest was once that a PSG player could have been saved. I think it was uh, Bernat. Doesn't matter. I also like that um, Coach Tuchel really tried to get his guys focused. Uh, speaking French, and uh, from what I could call tell, it was actually not that bad French. That was that was remarkable. Every penalty is converted. Ren makes it six five, and then uh, a player don't 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 remember who just got substituted in shoots it over the bar. And Ren Cup champions, and I was so happy for them. I was really happy for them. Uh, as great as PSG played, I think they then took it too easy, and Ren came back. And yeah. Nyang and Ben Arfa, that's a great attack on front. And I was happy for Ben Arfa too, because uh, you could see this meant a lot to him. He was not happy in Paris. Quickly, Ada, Barcelona made short shrift. Ah, short shrift. Had a struggle against Levante. Uh, had to bring in Messi at halftime, and Messi scores the winning goal. Barca champions. I had a big celebration afterwards. I personally do not like that they already gave out the trophy. Uh, I think a trophy should be given out. At least if you have it prematurely, get it, give it at the last home game. Don't give it right there. And then it kind of devalues, in my opinion, the com 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 competition. But okay, they had the trophy out there. Big size the celebrations was kind of nice. Inter Juve, also uh, worth watching. Inter had the better of the game for most of the time, especially in the first half. Beautiful goal by Nainggolan. Uh, volleyed in, in a typical Nainggolan fashion into the net. Makes it 1-0. Inter had many chances to actually double the lead. Never got there. And Ronaldo, Juve came back in the second half. Being much better, but much more and more in the game. Ronaldo gets the equalizer. Also nicely played. Nice back heel from Pjanic. Ronaldo slots it in. And then it was more or less a uh, even contest. Um, with both going for the win. And both could, 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 could have gotten the win. Uh, another game that's worth talking about, I the only also highlights was uh, Dortmund Schalke. Um, watch the highlights if you can. Dortmund took an early lead. Schalke then equalized from a hands penalty. Caligiuri, Caligiuri corner kick uh, uh, leads to the 2 1 for Schalke. And then Reus gets set off a, a horrible challenge. Caligiuri from the free kick makes it 3-1. Another, the exact identical challenge uh, gets another red card to Dortmund, who then make a goal through Witzel, and then uh, Schalke puts it home 4-2. This game will be talked about a lot, but now we know that who's become German champions. That's basically handed the trophy to Bayern, and I think Schalke will be happy that they got this together. Uh, in England, I think there was also a slight... Um, these two decisions uh, for efforts of the best of the rest. Watford beating Wolves. I think this will put Watford in the end in a good position. Uh, I have not looked at the, at the table, but um, in the relegation battle, Cardiff does not manage to get anything at Fulham. They lose, um, which also, and then Brighton comes back against Newcastle, a game that they were completely out of it, comes back and makes it um, a 1-1. So they're four points ahead of Cardiff. It's not done and dusted, but I think um, they look okay. If um, Cardiff doesn't get anything next week and they need to get a win, uh, I think um, Brighton plays still Arsenal and Man City. Um, I don't think they will. And that means actually that ahead of the last uh, day, I think Brighton will have nothing to play for, which actually will probably hand the championship to Manchester City, if at that point they're ahead. Uh, I honestly think if the only time that uh, City could trip up is actually today at Burnley. I don't think at home to Leicester they will trip up. It Lightning does, doesn't strike twice. But hey, that's what we're going to see. Well, that's my quick update. Got to finish up the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about that French Cup final. Watch the highlights. It's absolutely worth watching. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.